going on, everyone? Everyone doing good? It is, it is a great time to be alive, probably. I've got no frame reference. <laughs> you know those stickers that say, I voted? You know you can just buy those online? <laughs> I, uh, I like to buy them in bulk, and then uh, on election night, on election day, I just, uh, I put on like nine of them. And then when I pass people in the street, they're like, that, that's not good. That, uh, that isn't right. Uh, I just love democracy. I, just, I love it, I guess, nine times as much as people who just vote once. <laughs> I think there's something to that. Uh, Yesterday, my friend said to me, uh, dude, technology is taking over. Let's go find jobs at Apple. And I said, I don't think he's there anymore. <laughs> there's, always a, there's always a bit of a tape delay on that. There's like, a Steve Jobs thing, but maybe not. Um, the, uh, a lot of people uh, say, uh, I'm my, a lot of artists and performers say, uh, I'm my own harshest critic, uh, but those people have never posted anything on the internet. <laughs> because I have, and uh, I can tell you for a fact that my harshest critic is uh, Halo Boss 1215. <laughs> he is no fan of mine. Boy, I he didn't like that Apple joke either, by the way. Uh, here's an expression I don't like. Uh, the greatest thing since sliced bread. Uh, I looked this up. Sliced bread, they started selling it uh, on July 7th, 1928. On September 3rd, 1928, Alexander Fleming invented penicillin. <laughs> you think maybe we jumped the gun a little bit on declaring the world's greatest thing? We couldn't wait two more months, it was so close. <laughs> That is a, it's such a meaningless fact, but none of you are ever going to forget it. You'll be like, if somebody brings a sliced bread, you'll be like, oh yeah, 1928 is a bread. Here's another meaningless fact. Uh, nine out of ten men masturbate regularly. This is a study that found nine out of ten men masturbate regularly. And you do not want to see how the tenth guy does it. <laughs> Here's a pro tip for you, if you're ever uh, in the supermarket, and you stand in the middle, and you keep shouting, where the fuck are the eggs? <laughs> Eventually, someone will bring you a carton of eggs. <laughs> that's a fact. That's a shopping fact. I, uh, I invented a new kind of candy that um, is delicious, but has a weird aftertaste. And the attack line is, it'll make you go, mm, mm, uh. <laughs> That's one for all you candy fans out there. <laughs> I'm, um, do you guys think uh, Jesus' apostles were annoyed when he just started renaming them? <laughs> Come to me, Peter. Dude, I'm, I'm Simon. That's, that's not, I'm not Peter. That's not Peter. <laughs> You look more like a Peter. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Peter. Uh, I myself am uh, I'm half Christian. Uh, the first half, meaning I'm Jewish. Uh, here's my impression of a uh, of a of a Jewish grandmother of an astronaut. <laughs> Houston to Bubby, Houston to Bubby. <laughs> Wear your sweater under your space costume. I'm sending in a dehydrated pot roast. You're wasting away. <laughs> Why did we stop inventing musical instruments? Did we get them all? <laughs> until I was uh, fired for uh, just general incompetence, I would say. 
I was always mixing up the violins and the violas, the tubas and the threebas. I've got a lot of threeba fans. Um, and uh, the way it happened was the, uh, I, I walked in one day because I, uh, I knew that I had, um, I had school coming up so I wanted to, uh, uh, to cut back on my work because uh, I would be going back to school. And so I said, uh, hey boss, because I didn't know his name, because I probably did. <laughs> uh, do, you, uh, do you think uh, I could work fewer hours? And he said, absolutely. <laughs> 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 